Hello and welcome back to Frontend Hero. So for today's video, it's just going to be a short one. So we're going to delve back into the world of WordPress and we're going to look into this plugin here, this uh, Contact Form 7 plugin. So basically I have a form here um, just with like a name, email and a little message here. So what this tutorial will do is let's say you would like to change the recipient based on a dropdown menu. So for example, let's say we have a dropdown menu here and we have maybe a dropdown menu that says uh, jobs, general inquiry, or maybe media advertising, something like that. We want to change the recipient based on one of those dropdown options. So we're going to do that today in this video. So let's jump into our backend here. And I'm just going to go into our contact form here. So again, contact form seven. And I already have this form here, which is displaying on this front end here. And all I'm going to do is add this new area in here. So first up, what I'm going to do is to copy and paste one of the previous um, paragraph tags here, and we'll use this to input our new dropdown. So in here, um, I'm going to say dropdown, um, and I'm going to give it a name of inquiry type. Um, okay, let's leave that for the moment, insert tag. So that's in there now. Let me just indent that a little bit. Now I'm going to make this drop down required. So I'll give it a little asterisk here, same as our text area and email, etc. So now we have a drop down menu. Now we need to give it some options. So first up, I'm going to say, so double quotes. And the first option we're going to give the user is general. Um, and then we'll say on the next line, uh, we'll say, let's say media. And finally, we'll say, Jobs. Okay, so let's see what that looks like uh, for the moment on the front end. Saving there and we are done. So let me refresh this page here now. Okay, so actually let me bring this up a little bit. Um, so we'll probably want it maybe after the email address. Yeah, let's pop it in there. Okay, save that and refresh the page again. Okay, great. So now we have our dropdown with general uh, media and jobs. So as I said, wh what we'd like to do is let's say an inquiry comes in for just a general kind of inquiry for the website that will probably go to like the general address or the info or whatever, the main uh, email address for the company. Now let's say we have a media, uh, dropdown menu and we want this to kind of go to say a, an account executive who can look into that or a media partner, something like that, that can go to another email address. And again, jobs could probably go to uh, careers at um, our company and then someone can uh, sort that. So to do that, it's quite simple. What we can do is, so we have these options here, general, media and jobs. Now, all we need to do is literally just add a pipe character here and pop in the email address. So we'll say general, um, at frontendhero.dev and again for media pop in the pipe and jobs pipe again so we'll just change this general here to media and change this general for jobs to jobs so now we have this general here for the label and what will actually happen is the value is set to the email address save that Okay, great. Now, what we could do is go into mail, this little tab here, and then for the to address, instead of the email address, what we can simply say is, we can say inquiry type. So this will pull in the value of this dropdown menu here. So general at, general at frontendhero.dev, and then that will be displayed here. Now, what we can also do is in the subject area, instead of just general inquiry, we can add in our little inquiry type again and to display the label instead of the value we can just uh, prefix it with raw and then underscore again so underscore raw underscore inquiry hyphen type which is the name of our drop down and then that should be good to go okay i'm going to save that okay so we do have one other thing to do actually so um as we only have three options here the first one selected that may not be the choice that the user wants to you know select they might just do it automatically and then that gets sent to the wrong address so we can make the user select this um, by choosing an option by saying um inquiry type include blank and uh, let's save that real quick and have another little look there we go. So please choose an option. Okay, great. So let's test this out now. So we're going to say um, Homer 
And his email address is homer at simpsons.com. Now, we're interested in a job, so we'll say jobs. Any jobs, uh, if I could spell, going? Question mark. So this should go to the jobs at frontendhero.dev. Send that there. Okay, that's been sent. Now, let's have a look at the mail log and see what happens. So we can easily see here that it's been sent to jobs at frontend.hero.dev and the inquiry subject has been sent set to jobs. Fantastic. Let's try it again with the two more submissions for each of the other options. So Lisa at simpsons.com and say this one is for media. I need help with media. Okay, send that there. That's sent. Quick refresh on the mail log. And that's been sent to media. And then the final one is just general. So let's say this is for Bart. Bart at simpsons.com, general. Um, I need help with a general query. Query. I need help with a general query. Okay, send that there now. And we'll refresh the mail log. And there you have it. So that's a nice easy way how to send email to different email addresses depending on the drop down menu. So it makes it all nice and dynamic um, with the contact form 7 plugin. So hopefully that helps someone out there who uh, might need to change their recipient email address depending on the drop down menu. So um, thanks very much and um, catch you guys in the next one.